Hey everyone, I'm back in the bathroom with another hair tutorial. I have always admired that beachy wave look on everyone and I have bought endless curling irons and styling tools and employed different techniques and nothing was quite right. And I finally changed two things and I think I got it this time. The first was that I got a new curling iron. Now I have done this technique with my old one as well, but I'm going to show you the curling iron and the difference between this one and my old one. And then most importantly, the technique is different. So instead of me talking about it, let's just get right to it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First, let's talk about the state of my hair. So if you are new here, hi, my name is Marnie. I am 48 years old. Wow. Okay. Still getting used to saying that my hair is naturally dry. It is color treated and has been for about 25 years or more at this point. And I have grays <laughs> and I have had an issue with thinning hair over the last few years. I have addressed that. It is getting better with the use of the iRestore laser device. I'll link that below if you're interested. And I have a video, a few videos about it that I'll put up there. But um, my hair has gotten healthy enough to allow me to insert some hair extensions. So I have 10 on each side of my head. Here's, you can kind of see them. There they are. They're a little lighter on each side, just to add some fullness. They're cut to the length of my hair. As far as how I style my hair on the day that I wash it, I will blow it dry straight. Lately, I've been doing it this way about 75, 85% dry using my bioionic hair dryer. This thing is incredible. It's super lightweight and it is so fast. And then for just the very last, touch up to get that big volume and you know flip the ends and all that I'll use my Revlon hair dryer cuz that okay what I have been using for quite some time are the T3 curling irons and for the longest time I was using a 1 and a quarter inch um diameter barrel because that's what everybody on YouTube tells you to use except I realized that everyone that I am watching on YouTube who's telling me this has hair down to their waist lots of hair I don't have quite that much hair. So I recently switched to a one inch barrel and I found that it was getting better. I was getting closer to that look that I was looking for, but I felt like I, I feel like I do better with a longer barrel. And then I saw the bio ionic one. So it's not a huge difference, but it's enough of a difference in length to really make a difference. Look at the, I'm going to line them up. So the barrel starts exactly in the same place. So where that rose gold line is that runs around the edge here, that's where the barrel actually ends. And this is where the barrel actually ends on the bioionic. So it's about an inch difference. But let me tell you, that inch can make a difference. Now I'm not saying you need to run out and buy this bioionic. As of filming this, it's kind of hard because it's sold out everywhere. It does come in the one inch and the one and a quarter inch. And I will list below all of the places I have found it. Walmart, Ulta, a few other spots as well. Okay, so here is the bioionic. It has an official name, but let's just call it the curling iron. It has not just a super long barrel, but a super long clamp and it just gives you more control and gets that longer wave slash curl going on. So I plug this in, let's turn it on. It has three buttons, the power button, you just press and hold till it turns on and then you can adjust the temperature on the side. So I'm going to push mine up to, we'll go to 360. Okay. I'll let you know when that's heated up. Now, as far as, how I'm gonna do the styling. So yesterday I washed and blue dried my hair and the I use a variety of styling products. I'll list them below, we don't need to go into that now. But the key one here is this one. This is from Kerastas, it is a heat protectant and an anti-frizz spray and my stylist recommended this one as the one she recommends to use if you have hair extensions. So that's what I've been using. And then that was put in there yesterday so I feel like I'm good. Okay, here is the big change from what I used to do. I used to section off my hair. So I do this layer of hair, then I would pin it up again and do this layer of hair and then and so forth going up my head. The problem with that is that the curls are not blending. They're in different levels and I wasn't getting that seamless beachy wave look. So messy middle part, we're heated up. 
we've been heated up, I guess, for a little while now. I am not going to section my hair. And the other thing that I've picked up on is you try to get a chunk of hair that's no thicker than the width of your barrel. You can use that tip as a guide. And then I just go down my hair and I take all of that. Okay, now granted, it's not my longest piece. I'm growing out these front layers. And then we curl. Now it's not gonna be as earth shattering here because it's the shortest piece. And I count to about five and then I let it go. See how it's one long strand? Again, if you need help, you use this and you start from the top. So I know about that much. And I go down. Now this is gonna have part of my, I can feel some ex hair extension in there. Brush it out. You can get it super close to the roots. And I like to leave a little bit out, count to five. And release. Let's do one more of like a full chunk so you see what I'm talking about. I go all the way to the top and run my fingers down so I'm picking up all that hair. Brush it so it's smooth. Pulled in a little from another chunk. Let me brush that all together. I'm pushing this sideways right up against my scalp and then I'm moving it down the length, leaving a little bit out. One, two, three. And there you go, see how that way, my issue has always been the curl started too high, so I had this weird poofy thing happening, and then it would poof out at different levels throughout my hair as we let each section down. So now it's just one long curl and I'm going to continue doing that all the way around. It obviously gets easier as you get into the parts of your head that don't have layers. And we'll just curl away on this side and then same on the side. I'll be back when it's all done. Whole head is done. It goes super fast because you don't have to worry about sectioning stuff off. Now I did leave out a couple pieces by accident and it's not a big deal. You just kind of combine them into something new, so to speak. And you can pull a couple pieces out if you want on the top a little bit more volume. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror. It's kind of important to focus on what you're doing when you're holding something that's 360 degrees near your face. So a little bit of volume isn't the worst thing on that top layer. That looks pretty good. There's this one little piece here. I'm actually seeing it. This is a pretty big chunk. So I'm gonna divide this into two. Now remember, you're kind of, um, as you're moving the hair down the barrel, you're opening the clamp a little bit to allow for movement. So it's not super stiff. You're not pulling on your hair. Let me do this in slow-mo so you can see what I'm talking about. I am going to wait for this to cool down. This side is cool. This is the next thing I've been doing differently. I used to just use my fingers. Now I go with a brush. I like the wet brush. It's recommended to use if you have hair extensions. And I just brush through the curls. I like to start from underneath first. Et voila! Now I will go in with a flexible hairspray. I've been using the Living Proof one lately because you can kind of move it around. And I go from underneath and spray up and kind of pull the pieces out so I get a little bit more of that PC look. You can skip this step. And then lastly, because I have eight million baby hairs coming in, I will use a smoothing serum. This is the Colleen Rothschild one, just a little squirt. 
and just very lightly work on the ends too. That's it. This is exactly what I've been trying to do. I wanna say for 48 years, but honestly, I've only been using hair tools as far as curling for the last maybe 10. So, took 10 years to figure it out. I'm a slow learner, but I wanted to share this with you. If any of you have been struggling with that beachy wave look, this is just another way to go about it. There's obviously, as they say, one more than one way to skin a cat, which is a terrible, turn of phrase, but this is the one that's been working for me and many of you have been commenting it on my Instagram stories and in my video comments, I really appreciate it. And I wanna share what I have picked up so maybe it'll click for one of you. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I have a whole playlist of various hair, I don't wanna call them tutorials, but demonstrations of things I've learned. I will list that up there. And thanks so much for hanging out today. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching guys, bye.